now this is the third video in the series where we are trying to understand how to filter the data frame and in this video we are gonna learn how to find the n number of largest value in a particular va variable that means we want to filter all the records where n number of largest value from a particular variable is true same happens over here we want to filter x number of records or maybe all number of records where some value in a particular variable is smallest and this the last one which is query is going to give you a lot of freedom till now you have learned how to use lock i lock how to use multiple conditional operators to filter the data and etc many things throughout the previous two or three videos now here you gonna learn the most powerful thing which is query which gonna make you feel that the previously what you learned was sorry but those were not very helpful because this is going to give you a use independence and freedom hello everyone welcome to the channel to understand the concept very clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video please do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon so first thing which we're going to learn today is n largest before we proceed let me give you an example here we have a data frame and we are trying to this data frame has 91 rows and four columns we are trying to look at transaction amount column and we need to find all the records where transaction amount is highest and that should be for three records like this our value should look like this now here you can notice we try to filter five records out of which two have 971 so it does not gives you the unique highest transaction amount but this will give you the just highest transaction amount if you have same highest transaction amount five times this will give only those five highest records all right so what the syntax we're going to use is df dot n largest this is the syntax then we will start parenthesis operator and then you're going to put number of items which we which you want to filter so here we filtered five so we need to put five then you need to put variable name in which you want to look for the highest amount so here we had transaction amount where we wanted to look for the highest value so we will put transaction amount so the exact syntax will look something like this all right now let me take you to the jupyter notebook and try to explain you this practically today for a change i am using jupyter notebook and like you can see i have already imported pandas and numpy and i have also imported the customer unique data and the cost data frame has been created we will provide a link for this table excel file which we have uploaded on github you can download that from there and now we're going to look for the highest transaction amount and filter five records for those things how are we going to do that cost dot n largest you can press shift uh, sorry tab and then you'll get this index completed now the number of records which we want to filter is five variable which we want to look into is transaction amount Here we go now here we have the exact same record if you want to change this you can change this also right now you can just reverse this if you want to find the n smallest if you want to see those five records where the transaction amount is least right minimum so you don't have to do much just put the data frame name and in the same way you're gonna say n smallest and start the parenthesis operator into that put the number of items which you want to filter and the variable where you want to look for this particular condition these are the default special characters which appear now let me just remove that quickly and here we go here we have bottom six records where the transaction amount is list so this is how you can use n largest and n smallest so now i'm going to teach you the power of query let's say in this particular data frame we want to filter 
दे रिकॉर्ड्स वे ट्रांजेक्शन अमाउंट इज आइदर इक्वल्स टू एट हंड्रेड और ग्रेटर देन एट हंड्रेड ऑल राइट हाउ कैन वी डू दैट सो फॉर दैट प्रीवियसली यू हैव लर्नड टू यूज मल्टीपल कंडीशनल ऑपरेटर और मे बी सिंगल कंडीशनल ऑपरेटर विच वुड बी समथिंग लाइक दिस कॉस्ट कॉस्ट डॉट ट्रांजेक्शन अमाउंट ग्रेटर दैन इक्वल्स टू एट हंड्रेड राइट सो द प्रॉब्लम हेयर इज यू हैव टू राइट कर्स्ट एंड दी वेरिएबल डेटा फ्रेम नेम एंड वेरिएबल नेम सो मेनी टाइम्स ओके सॉरी इट शुड हैव टू बी एट हंड्रेड सो मेनी टाइम्स नाउ दिस थिंग आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू रिमूव राइट एंड मेक इट सिंपल हाउ कैन वी डू दैट क्वेरी and here you just need to use a quotation and in this quotation you can write all the queries which you want to make true over here all right let me just do that this is greater than equals to 800 now you must be thinking that this is not a very good advantage on this right so this is just a small change but still this is going to help you a lot now let me tell you what is the big benefit now if you have to start if you want to use another variable again you don't have to use the data frame name and variable name you can simply say and let's say i want to look for uk in the country all right so you can use the another next variable which is going to be uk bingo we don't have any entry over here where the country code should is greater than 800 or equals to 800 and country equals to uk so this time i am just going to use brazil country equals to, so that you could understand this let's see so now here you can see you have transaction amount greater than equals to 800 and country is brazil now if you want to combine some another set of syntax with this you can all you can do that all also let's say you want to say either this condition should be true or this condition should be true the another set of condition you can put over here like you can simply say either transaction amount should be greater than equals to 800 and country equals to brazil or you just want to get all the records where country equals to uk let's see there seem to be something wrong the mistake which i made over here was single equals to sign now you run this so here you have three conditions satisfying right either transaction amount is equals to or greater than 800 or country equals to brazil or the country equals to uk all right now if you want to include some more condition over here then you can and i want to see transaction amount less than equals to 300 so if you see there are two conditions which have been combined combination of two conditions have been combined over here one is transaction amount should be greater than equals to 800 and country equals to brazil or country equals to uk and transaction amount should be less than equals to 300 let's see so here we have these many records four records which satisfies to this condition so this is how you can use the power of this query method all right i hope this was very helpful to you now i have a very interesting exercise for you let's so here we have a data frame in fact it's a excel file for which i'll be providing you the link in description section from where you can download this the data frame name is supermart sales data that's a xls x file which has 1000 rows and 15 columns now th there are two exercise which i would like you to do first one is find three earliest and latest dates when the transaction happened in the data frame there is one date variable in that you have to find the three earliest date and three latest date 
where the transaction happened if you want you can find that separately second question which i want you to complete is find out how many female populations are there in the data frame who are buying either home and lifestyle or electronic accessories these items are from product line variable and they are using e wallet to do the transaction so this is the exercise which i want you to complete to experience these techniques thank you very much for watching the video i just hope that you liked it just in case if you have any doubt do not forget to put that into the comment section until then happy learning enjoy